please let us know if you'd like to ask a question. Is that with Ted Colton? Hey, how did it feel to play with those guys last night? Oh, uh, it felt pretty good. I mean, uh, recording uh, in progress. I haven't played with them for uh, for a long time, and I got the chance recently, so uh, just uh, felt pretty good. Felt special to play with them, and and uh, uh, the hockey felt pretty easy. Well, that's a good point. I mean, is it easier playing with guys like that? Do you feel a lot more, I don't know, just comfortable with with players like that? Oh, I mean, of course. They are really good players, obviously. So uh, it's, uh, it's the game's getting easier to, you know, to to play with them. But uh, I mean, I felt pretty good those last five, six games or something. I was uh, gaining my confidence, and uh, and you know, I got at this point to play with them, and uh, you know, I just wanna just wanna use my ability to to help them, and you know, when the pack. Uh, battles and go to the net front, so you know, create some space for them, and and I think it kind of worked. Uh, uh, yesterday, we played, uh, I would say, pretty well. So uh, we just gotta keep going and and just keep having fun, because if you're having fun, we're playing really good hockey as a team. The last one. So those last four or five games before the break, did something change? I mean, did you feel, did you do something to your game that? No, I just kind of, I don't know, stay patient and. Uh, just kept kept working, and uh, you know I was just waiting for for the better better. I I don't want to say luck, but you know the the puck going my way and, uh, and stuff like that. So just kept you know patient. That was good. Thanks, Phil. Thank you. Hands are kind. Yeah, Philip. I, I know you want to make a, a, a more of a concerted effort to, to get to the net. Uh, is that? Do you take any? Uh, uh, you look at guys like 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 Suter and Fabry, who aren't the biggest guys either, but they like playing in, in, in tight gear, going to the net. You kind of look at them as as examples. I mean, yeah, that they, they doing a pretty good job going to the net. You know, they're getting rewarded for uh, for that. So uh, obviously, I'm uh, you know I'm learning uh, by watching those players and watching uh, you know other players in the league. You know, doing the same thing. So uh, just. Uh, just want to keep it going like that because I think I'm going to the net. It just uh, doesn't bounce in my way, but you know I don't want to make excuses like that. But uh, you know at some point they will come around and uh, we'll get more chances around the net. And uh, just you know just gotta uh, you know keep it being patient and and uh, just believe. Uh, you know, with an opportunity like this, do you have to be careful not to put too much pressure on yourself as much as you want to produce to just kind of keep playing your game and not try to press things. I mean, at this point, I don't put any pressure on me, you know, just playing hockey. Uh, I mean, it was some ups and downs this season for sure, so uh, I'm uh, not taking any pressure to put my uh, put, to put on my uh, shoulders. I just, uh, you know, just want to play the uh, the sport I've been playing since since I was a kid. So uh, just want to play hockey, have fun, and you know, uh, the opportunity I got to play with those guys, you know, I just gonna uh, just gotta do my best and you know enjoy the time with them. Thanks, Phil. Max Boltman. Hey, Phil, how did you kind of arrive at that mindset? You talked about going through the ups and downs, and at this point, focus on you know playing. Like, how did you kind of come to that mindset? Do you think? Uh, you know, like uh, it's hockey life, right? So like those ups and downs are gonna be here for, I guess, forever. You know, obviously it would be nice to be just up, but. Uh, I just you just gotta keep believing and uh, you know put those negative things uh, you know off your head and, and just 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 keep believing and you know just keep working hard and, and stuff like that you know like it's uh, it's not easy but it's not that hard to just focus on the right things and you know uh, and just I believe in myself that I'm a good hockey player too you know to be uh, to be good and uh, yeah, useful on the ice so just uh, you know just uh, just think positive. Those are all the kind of things, like you hear a lot of young players talk about those things. Is there any of the older players kind of pull you aside and talk to you about any of that stuff? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Larks uh, and all those like uh, older guys came to me and even the coaching staff, for sure, uh, they did the same thing. Like, uh, you know, you're doing a good job, it's just not bouncing your way, but it, it will come at some point and uh, I believe that, you know. I just got to do the right things and uh, it will come. Maybe it will come later, but, you know, eventually it will come uh, and, you know, Everything's gonna be good. Yeah, and then you talked about just as a team when you guys are having fun, you feel like you're playing well. How much has that helped this year when you know you haven't really had as many prolonged down stretches as, as a team? Yeah, I mean, 
I think we've done a pretty good job as a team yesterday. We had a fun, we played with the puck, we didn't do much of our mistakes. And that's why we won and we just gotta keep playing like that and obviously like if you're like, you know, uh thinking positive and everybody's, you know, playing the uh, playing the way the right way, everything's way easier and if we gotta do if we'll be keeping doing like that we'll we'll be fine and we'll be winning those games uh what we need. So uh, we just gotta stick to that and, and uh play the right way. Awesome. Thanks man. Thanks everyone. Be back shortly with Coach Blashell. Recording.